Logan is a 25 years old Marine soldier. He's participating in a raid in Iraq. The operation was going smoothly until the squadron was ambushed. A man called Aces rushed to save a touched soldier, but he died doing so. After a long night, Logan survived the ambush. He's waiting outside for reinforcements to come, and he sees a photo on the ground. He walks toward it and picks it up, only to see it's the picture of a woman. And right as he's about to go back to his position, a shell was dropped on the camp, killing everyone there but Logan, as he was far enough from it, thanks to the photo. After that, Logan goes and asks around the camp if people know who this girl is, and after asking many people and all of them saying they never saw her, he gave up. Eight months later, Logan is on another mission. A friend of his tells him he must meet that woman in the picture, as she's the one that saved his life, kind of like a guardian angel. But their vehicle explodes. Sometime later, Logan leaves the Marine and decides to go live with his sister for some time. And just as he arrives, his dog Zeus runs towards him and jumps on him. After living with them for a couple of days, things aren't working out, and Logan leaves the house and goes to find that woman in the picture. He noticed a lighthouse behind her in the picture, and after identifying it, he packed his stuff and started walking there. Once there, he goes around town, showing the picture to the locals and asking them if they know the woman in the picture. Even though it wasn't met with success at first, a guy tells him who she is, Beth Green, a dog keeper outside of town. He goes to where she works and meets her, and as he's about to tell her why he's here, she tells him about a job offer they posted, and as he's about to sign the paper, Beth finds out he's an ex-marine, and she instantly tries to kick him out but her mother intervenes and says that he's perfect for the job. Logan finds a house nearby. Even though it's old and dusty, he takes it. The next morning, while Beth is running the dogs around, Logan is already in the shop, fixing and arranging broken stuff, while Ben, Beth's son, watches him. Beth takes Ben to school, while her mother shows Logan around, where they store the food. Logan is enjoying his life there, he works from morning to the night, repairing both his house, the shop, and even a tractor. As Logan is at the shop, a sheriff walks in and annoys Logan, using physical force to impose his authority. And as he leaves, he tells Logan to tell Beth he'll see her at four. Beth and Ben jump into the truck and go to the party, and it turns out Sheriff is Beth's ex-husband, Keith. Keith's father is a judge, and he is on an election to become governor, and their family is really powerful around town. A few days later, Beth is taking care of the dogs, making them swim in a lake near the house, and while walking Zeus, Logan sees her and leaves with just smiling. As Beth gets home, she starts complaining about how annoying the new employee is, and she's interrupted by Logan greeting her. He was having a cup of coffee with her mother and talking about his past. The next morning, as Logan is walking around, he hears Ben playing the violin. He congratulates him, but Ben is shy about that. The days go by, and Logan is taking good care of the dogs. Beth's mother asks him if he can take her downtown, which Logan agrees. After doing some small talk, she tells him about her son, Drake, which never made it from his raid in the Marine. Once back, Logan enters the house and sees a piano. Hey, he plays a beautiful sonata, and Ben secretly hears him. But this moment is quickly interrupted by Beth coming home. The night of the same day, Ben invites Logan for dinner, and they share a meal together. After what they spend some pleasant time, but Ben must go to bed now and he leaves. As Logan is about to leave, he tries to tell Beth about why he's here, but just as he remembers the trauma he had, he can't find the words to tell her. So he just leaves. After getting home, he hides Beth's picture under a book. The day after, Beth and her mother go to Drake's grave, and as they come back, Beth, in an outburst of rage and sadness breaks clay flower pots, and as Logan sees her he runs to comfort her. She tells him about Drake, how close they were and how devastating his death was, and she tells him she hopes he didn't die for nothing. Logan and Ben become closer and closer, but this complicity moment is stopped when Keith comes to pick up Ben, as there is a baseball charity game he will play. After the game, Keith came back with Ben, but Ben took a ball to his head and bleeds from his nose, to what Beth blames her ex-husband. But Keith gets angry at her, and as he's getting more and more aggressive, Logan steps in and tells him to stop. After that, Beth thanks Logan for helping her, and they end up going on a date. He ultimately leaves Beth and threatens Logan before going. Beth takes Logan to a spot she knows, her father's old boat. And as they kiss there, a police officer, who is a friend of Keith, interrupts that moment on Keith's orders. The next morning, Logan takes his equipment to repair the boat, and he manages to do so, thanks to his knowledge in the marine. And when he got back to the shop, he started picking up heavy bags of dog food, while Beth watched him seducingly. That same night, Logan goes to Beth's place, and after a quick chat about chess with Ben, he goes upstairs to find Beth, and they end up having romance. It's Ben's anniversary, everyone is there, and there is a tension between Logan and Keith. Keith is annoyed by Logan's presence, so he goes to blame Beth. To what she responds, Ben invited him, 
not her. But Keith won't take it, and threatens her to use his power with the judges to take Ben away from her. She ends up giving in to his threats and asks Logan to not see her anymore. That night, her mother heard of that event and called Beth out for being so passive not defending nor protecting her love. So next morning first thing she gets in her car and goes to Keith's place, to tell him she won't give in to his threats no more, that she will see Logan despite him not liking that. Keith is speechless to that. When she gets home she meets Logan in the shower, and they have romance in Logan's apartment. They end up sleeping together there. It's choreal time. Logan and Ben will play a duet at the church, and even though Ben was shy to go play in public like that, Logan reassured him that everything will be alright. As they play, even though there were a few mistakes people were agreeably surprised by how good the duet was. As they left, a man recognized Logan. He's the man that told Logan when he arrived in town where was Beth. So he told Keith that he was hiding a picture of her in his house. Logan goes home, and when he enters, he sees that someone broke in. He quickly rushes to his bedroom to find that Beth's picture was stolen. At the same moment, Keith goes to Beth's house. To tell her about the picture, he manages to pit her against Logan. And when Logan came to explain himself, she told him to leave. So he said his story before he left, how a picture saved life, and then left. But right as he was leaving Ben rushed to him to give him his chess book. The next day, Logan goes downtown to buy some fruits, and Keith, who was drunk, sees him shopping. He rushes out of the vehicle and threatens him at gunpoint. But he forgot Logan is an ex-Marine. He quickly disarmed him and left the scene. Keith is gnawed by guilt, so he goes to his father, the governor to be, and tells him he quits his sheriff position. He then goes to Keith's place and asks her to be a family again. But as his demands get more insistent, Beth pushes all his advances back, and he gets furious. He starts looking for his son Ben but he runs away. It was raining cats and dogs outside, and as Ben was running away he stuck himself on a wooden bridge. It was too unstable for him to walk out of it so Keith rushes there to save him. But the weather gets more and more severe. The bridge crushed and fell in the lake, and as Ben was holding on a branch, Keith swam to him as fast as he could. Logan jumped in the water too, and just as Keith gave Ben to Logan the hut above them started falling and it crushed Keith. After all that, Keith's father congratulates Logan for saving Ben, to which he replies that Keith saved him. Logan goes to Beth's house, where he talks with her mother. She tells him how heroic he was that day and thanks him for saving Ben's life. When Beth came downstairs, he explained to her that he was here to tell her what happened to her brother. There was a picture of Drake in the book Ben gave to Logan, and he had a tattoo, it said Aces. He then understood the man that was with him the day of the raid, that heroically saved that touched man, was Drake. He reassured Beth, explained to her that Drake did not die in vain. Logan was ready to leave town and continue on with his life, but Beth ran after him and asked him to stay after what they hugged. After all these events, Beth, Ben, and Logan go for a ride on the boat he fixed, and while Ben was staring at the lake they were in, Logan and Beth kissed lovingly in the background. Ben went and took the commands of the boat, Logan and Beth told him to go left and right in the end. 